Sorry, please. This here corner of the room is very dark for some reason. I tend to use it for them dramatical entrances in case someone tries to grab me flashing bits. Fresh air upon I love my the Magnus skin screen. Like the flinching daggers of a thousand. Oh, they're doing a recap up here. I was like, what is what is that text? What is that text? Thousand, thousand medial urchins going out a sack of potato. His mental state oh, isn't what? great. I could have told you that. Go, go, go back to the Imperial Palace. This silvery cat, dude. What have I not been able to gaze upon in the halls of the Imperial Palace that Magnus the Red, nine times damned traitor, could so easily slip inside? <laughs> oh, hugs chat, face. hugs for the chat. <laughs> Every time chat when you like allude to that, Vulcan lives, stomp, stomp. I was like, what if I what am I witnessing? All of this is like a series of what I do not understand this inside joke. It's funny when these things come to pass. I'm like, oh, that's what you were talking about. That's what happened with Kitten. And I was like, why is everyone saying kitten in my chat? when his name hadn't been introduced yet. And I was like, uh, what was happening? What's happening? Now I understand. <laughs> Go to the Imperial Palace, like, right now. But the skeletal remains must too be embraced, they do. One bread or bone at a time. But first, I must make a tour of the Imperium of Mars. It has been too long since I have gotten a breath of fresh air. We shall see the works we fought for. And after that, we shall see our dead boy. That dead boy. Like the worst idea for a spin-off ever. Now let us all go. Adventure! Mm. Yes! Adventure! <laughs> yes, they're gonna explain lore to us. Stomp, stomp. Oh, I, I always love their, uh, their claws. It truly is an honor. This honor is mine at Kaiban Strike, Master of Shadows. We have awaited thine arrival. Because <laughs> of course it is. It is really, truly true. <laughs> truly? Stop this. <laughs> oh, indeed. What are the odds that we get some poetry on this bro trip eventually? When your friendly bro bro tries to take the depresso emo sibling <laughs> out to hang out. Honestly, have you guys ever done that before? If you, if you have siblings where your sibling is like sad and you're like, all right, time to get out of the house. Put some actual clothes on instead of your instead of your your sad clothes. Like, and I mean, that is like clothes you haven't like changed out of and you're like, get out. We're go we're going out to do things to make them feel better. And of course, I know him. He's me. <laughs> Well, okay, there, there, there's that, there's that. Uh, <laughs> uh, has your sibling ever done that to you? How about that? <laughs> oh, no. But it's, it's, it's fun. It also feels like pulling teeth and it's horrible because they don't want to have fun. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> he awaits thee on the deck of commander. If you will, please follow with my locomotion, beloved cousin friends. Cousin friends. They are cousins. By the forests of Kiovar. My... My Primarch. He's gonna keep his beard? Children, yep. Children, dearest. Deliverance hath come. You can't even see his eyes. He's got like a My skull friend. head. <clears throat> the Raven Guard has served loyally in your name throughout the eras. Ever have we chased your shadow in quest of your guidance. To follow with your silent <laughs> footsteps. <laughs> I love the silent footsteps. That That is a great addition to this. You need not seek mine shadow any longer. Like, look, you. like you can't even see his eyes. Like, he's just got like sockets it looks like i'm sure he has eyes because how's he moving around magic but look at that rather it is i who shall join in yours the shade shaped from your unflinching loyalty and staunched brotherhood for over ten thousand years i shall serve alongside you my sons together we shall spread to all the light the graces our unworthy forms I swear to leave the ravens of Kiavar nevermore. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I should have known there was going to be a Nevermore joke in here. What the heck? Why didn't I? Oh, gosh. I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. Floating, crying, my father. Are we truly worthy? Don't die, Shrike. Shame the chapter. I don't know those two space marines, so I don't know if that's. But matters of extreme pressure have led me out of my box of quasi eternal solitude. Extreme pressure? Was your fluid recovery system malfunctioning? Oh my gosh. Not that kind of pressure, son. Oh. Why did they say that? Please pardon him, father. No, no, I. I deserve that. Hello! I am here too. Oh, of course. Please excuse me, Lord Father. <laughs> you are not in Hugs for everyone, chat. Than I ever did see. Vulcan, stop unintentionally murdering my son. <laughs> my mistake. Is it? Is it murder? If, wouldn't it be like manslaughter? If he like hugs someone too hard? Like you weren't trying to, but you did. Not murder. Accidentally murdering is more like accidental killing because he's not, he, there's no intention. So wouldn't it just be manslaughter? I think death by hug would be intentional. Like if you don't know your own strength and you accidentally break him, he did intentionally hug him, but didn't mean to crush him. No, no, this is my fault. I shouldn't have acted so approachable. <laughs> Well, considering the circumstances. <laughs> all right, chat. If you don't want hugs, just don't act approachable at all. Okay? Just be cold and just be like, mm. and, and recite poetry and don't shower. Make sure your hair hangs over your face. And then you probably won't get a hug. Unless you're around Vulcan, then it'll probably happen anyway. I... <laughs> I like this dynamic because it's very much uh, a sibling dynamic where it's a it's a very stereotype dynamic. You get that very extroverted, friendly sibling versus the incredibly introverted sibling, and you get to we get to see this uh, dynamic unfold in front of us. I think we can relate to one of these people in in at least part, if not whole. <laughs> oh, uh, in this case, who who do we relate to more? Do we relate to Vulcan? Who's the huggy type in here? And who's uh, the more so extroverted versus like introverted? Because I'm introverted. But in comparison to a sibling of mine, I like to give hugs. And I annoy said sibling with hugs. And I also poke them a lot and bother them. Big adoptable introvert energy with the ravens. Absolutely. Absolutely. Adopt that introvert. We we need you sometimes to push us out of our shells. Uh, there's definitely instances where I've made plans with friends. And, and I'm like, yeah, this sounds fun. And then the plans will begin. Or like we're a few hours away from the plans. I'm like, I do not want to leave the house. No, thank you. No, thank you. And I have to get my my other friend to convince me to go out and basically drag me out. <laughs> I'm an introvert, but I love giving hugs. Yeah, no, so that's the same thing for me. It's like when I when I'm in a public space, I can be more extroverted. And that's fine. But uh I, I like I like to recharge by myself. I would say that we celebrate this momentous occasion. <clears throat> yes, yes, a fine idea, Lord Vulcan. Uh, I suggest we mount a 19 day long silent vigil so that we can at last seek full unity with our return primates. <laughs> And carry upon our shoulders the dark, like burden of this galaxy. That's 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 how long I need after a big outing, a, a big outing, a nineteen-day-long nap. Of, of blood and slaughter and doom. Totally. Whoa. I am Whoa. Best. Pardon my petulance, but did I remind you that Terra is in jeopardy? What? Terra. His fire. His flamer. We called upon you not only for our reunion but also for support. We I need emotional the support. Is under siege by my abhorrent brother, Magnus the Red. Oof. No. The cradle of man himself. Mm hmm. How could the Raven God have missed such crucial information? We did receive word from the Astral Happy Great Fine of the Inquisition and the Ecclesiarchy were on the receiving end of some reformations. Those reports Ooh, uh... also claim that the Emperor himself had enacted those reformations. 
I wanted to leave it, but instead idly waited for further developments. Really? Well. Remarkable. The prevention and expulsion of such organizations is something I definitely could see my father doing. Oh, good. They're not going to go crazy. Or perhaps not. What we know for a fact is that Magnus ostensibly has access to the Imperial Palace and perhaps through that the High Lords. So they must critically, it would hmm. be quite simple to draw the conclusion that Magnus is planning something. Well, he something is. Super ill. But he is plotting something, but we don't know how bad it is just yet. It, it's funny because they actually think he's going to do traitory things, but he's probably just going to do something that's self-serving that might be a tiny bit traitory. What he thought I has returned and brought Magnus back into his fold. <laughs> Come, brother, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> That's Magnus stupid. You. All we know is that the throne world might be under siege, which is why we must make haste and flay him alive with your Excuse feet. Excuse me, my lords. What is it, Bond's friend? The Astropath wishes permission okay. to enter the command deck. She has urgent reports. Send her in. Master Sassafras. Sassafras. Is she going to have a bunch of sass? Oh. Um. Excuse my intrusion, lords. I have intercepted communications from a nearby subsector. Mm -hmm. What is this communicating Uh, distress call from the planet How the fuck is you to pronounce this? Nkumura Jetson. Nkumura catches. Nkumura something, whatever. It is sent at the behest of the Catachan Second Regiment. Oh. They urgently need help defending the planet from a chaos threat. Oh my gosh. The, <laughs> the girl. I will not take Colonel Strachan for one to send distress calls unless it is a very dire situation. I swear that man should have been a space marine. Then we shall probably. Falcon, we must make for Terra. Human blood spilt would be a hundredfold. A thousandfold if Terra were to fall. But is it going to? Mm. My brother, whether or not Terra has fallen, we cannot neglect saving human life that is within our direct reach. The more we save, the more we can consolidate our forces for our merry crusade to Terra. These I mean, if you're going to bring everyone back with you. Okay, then. I am surprised you are still capable of logical decisions. <laughs> oh, my full of surprises. All right, let's make this quick. Scary. Adventure! I did notice when his, um, yeah, see, this is when he's talking as an orc. His eyes get all orange. Mm-hmm. But when he's not, they're like regular. Watch all him. Right, let's make this quick. See? Obviously something's wrong. They're heavily implying, not even implying. They're just telling you. They're almost telling you straight up. Oh, no. Yeah, get him, get him. <laughs> I I like how they're shirtless in snow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. It's a rave. Ooh, that's disgusting. I like how this guy's name is just Connor. And all like the 40k names, his name is just Connor. Just just standard, standard name, Connor. Uh, sorry to all the Connors that might be watching this. I apologize in advance. <laughs> Connor. Aim and aim and aim and aim. Fire your damn weapon. Present. Stop changing your guns like some spastic <clears throat> octopanda. Bossman, for the love of the Emperor, will you learn to reload <laughs> on a sensible time scale? Or I will send you out with a rusty spoon. Oh. Double time, you damnable double bitch. Conrad, <laughs> tie your fracking laces. Emperor's ass, do I have to do everything myself? That's what your mom says whenever she's. Whenever she's cleaning the house and says, oh, no, I don't want your help. It's fine. That's what you hear five minutes later. <laughs> bonk, bonk, bonk. Reinforcements about damn time. 
It was like moving its hips while it was talking. <laughs> All right, chat. This is the best argument I've ever seen, and I, I don't condone this. But based on the demonette's argument, or demon technically, um, this is why you should do uh, you should do steroids because your muscles aren't genuine. So so, so Slanesh isn't gonna want you <laughs> if you um. If you, if you uh, take steroids <laughs> instead of working out regularly. I'm just, just, just letting you know. Just letting you know. She said that. Or it, the, the thing said that. Just, just letting you know, okay? Bird bouncers. <laughs> oh. Oh. You might have a better demon skull. The master oh, wow. of mankind to you, Craven Filth. Oh, no, 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 no. These biceps are not worth the banishment. Oh. I'm out. Coward. Well, I'll be chopped and used for rations. That's the biggest marine I ever saw. That's no <laughs> He's just sneaking up behind. <laughs> That's eating's jungle freak. You dare speak out of line, soldier. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't Holy do that. Holy shit. That one's even larger. <laughs> I am Vulcan, Primarch of the Salamanders, and over there is my brother, Corvis Korax, Primarch of the Raven. Yeah. Dark. Emperor's teeth. I never thought I'd stand before one of the Emperor's own offspring. I am Colonel Strachan, and we are soldiers of the proud Kenakan Second. We salute you for aiding us with killing these horrific walking modern art <laughs> projects. I, I apologize, modern artists. Um, he has opinions on the matter. Yeah, no, it's one thing to be in the presence of, like, one Primarch. But to be in the presence of, like, two Primarchs together, like, in 30k, that was an, uh, a rare -er occurrence. Like, if you were in, like, the same room as them. Like, seeing one is like, whoa, and then seeing two is like, oh. Like, just seeing one for, like, regular humans was, like, petrifying because they're they're so large and imposing and, like, the force of their personality and, in some cases, charisma... In, in, in other ways, just, like, it's mainly their personality. But imagine being around two. Oh, boy. What about three? It, it, I mean, it, it just keeps going. Like, imagine you're, like, stunned to silence by seeing one. And then it talks to you. Like, you're going to be, you're, you're going to either be so stunned, you won't be able to speak, or you'll, like, fumble over your words. Regular human, I'm not talking about a space marine, but even space marines are in awe of their own primarchs. And then having two of them, just the might and the majesty of those beings, even if, like, in 30k, they were the regular traitors. Like, if even, even if they were traitors, you'd be like, oh, oh, um, I'm not supposed to be here. These guys are, like, so cool. So. That's what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah. They're taking it very well, but they're also the toughest guys you'll probably, the toughest humans you'll ever meet. Maybe, uh, I haven't read any books with them in it, uh, so I can't say for sure, but I also put a lot of respect on, uh, the Sisters of Battle, because they're regular humans too, but, you know. It is of no concern <laughs> for your lives, you are <laughs> And in that case, uh, I, you might piss yourself <laughs> if one appeared behind you and just said, was like, Hey, hello there. <laughs> hello there. Now indebted more than ever to the safeguarding of mankind. Now listen, and listen well. Terror is in peril. Your regiment, as well as every single other regiment your homeworld has to offer, shall help us to reclaim it. Oh, oh they're all wrong. <laughs> Affirmative. The Katakan second here, Terra's core, Primarch. Yeah. I'd rather drink grog shit and have my corpse lathered in acid grub gravy before I let some inhuman son of a four-armed whore lay as much as a squint on Terra's holy soil. What the heck? It, 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 it is v very colorful. Oh. Uh, oh my. Let us make for your homeward, Colonel. From there, the campaign to rally regiments to our cause shall be an effortless endeavor. As a Katakan jungle fighter, you're always close to home. They too will hear the call, sir. 
Pack it up, men! We're heading home to Katakan! This is rather... austere. I suppose it would be to the likes of us. It'd be hopeful burden for the kid of Katachan, my Primkel. This jungle be- did, did he just do Primark but Uncle Primkel? Primkel? That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> what, what, what would it be for like- <laughs> What the heck? Primkel. Primkel. I cannot. I cannot. Feeds out the weakness and helps these soldiers serve with the barest of resources. This year, Katachan Fang is a real knife. Ooh. Huh. You call that sorry spatula knife? It does Man, look kind of bulky. Better bow before the Night Reaper, cause this is a knife. Oh, that is a knife. It's more of a knife. Are you what doing okay, kind of sir? Shut up, Grunkstein. Am I sunk it into? Is that what you tribe yankers call knives in these here parts? A real knife is nothing less than a devil's claw knife. But That's like a short store, short sword, so or like one of those. Um, there's a name for it, but it's like those those uh, swords that you use, to, like the stereotype, like jungle safari slashing at the vines. This looks more like a long combat knife. Big machete. Man. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm pretty today. I know I know the word machete, and I know it. But like, oh my gosh, I could not bring myself to remember what a dang machete was called. I should be ashamed. Aww. Attention. <laughs> Who's in command here? This man has nice for hands. Yeah. The, the man emperor listened to my prayers. Please heed my words, not my serrated assets. Where? Hey, hey, my eyes are up here. Don't, don't look at my serrated assets. My eyes are up here, chat. <laughs> If if you could even see his eyes. Well, suppose I'm in command, sir. You suppose. Yeah. Sir, I've got the finest knife, right, boys? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh for is my that... own failure to show surprise, I must justly flagellate myself. Do some big important choppers, Jimmy boy. <laughs> It is rare to see such fine The orc inside is like, ooh. The stuff used to produce these knives are exclusive to Katachan, sir. Yeah, they're the best cutters around. And they're not only stabbing steely door wands, but okay. they also mark all status. Quality knives up the likelihood of being butted sergeant, sir. Is this a euphemism? I'm just paranoid about everything. Is this a euphemism, chat? Is this a dang euphemism? Before, I thought it might be, and I didn't say anything. But now, it's getting worse. <laughs> it's getting worse, chat. It's getting worse. As long as you wield it well, of course. People look at you funny if you end up stabbing yourself a bunch. I can dig that. So your hierarchy mimics that of orcs. But instead of judging body mass index, you are all constantly performing a regiment-wide night. There it is. Contest. There it is. We can see clear as sunlight that you're no less than a son of the Emperor With the himself, biggest knife. Considering all that sharp stuff sticking out <laughs> you, sir. Right, whatever. Report. How is Colonel <laughs> Strachan faring? No news yet, sir. <laughs> He'll be coming around himself when he's got news. In the meantime, I suggest you sit back. Man doesn't sit. He's just gonna disappear. Dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come, brother. Introvert Try doesn't want to touch grass. Through these magical woods. <sighs> right. Fine. <laughs> Let us start. This is such the makeshift canine tales. Adventure. The stereotype is strong with this episode. I love it. <laughs> this planet humbles me to no bounds. Tank size scorpapedes, platoon eating scorpapedes, trench foot for the power armor. Why do people live here? Is it really pronounced Katakan? Apparently so. <laughs> then why is there a shark in the name? Is it not Honestly, I asked that question too. The same with the Shark Legion, uh, the, the shark chapter, not Legion, the Karkadons, something like that. I feel so bad because I don't know how to pronounce it and I butcher it. I think spelling is a top priority amongst the people of Katachan Camp. Ooh, a point conceded. 
but I am honestly. Is he like a fab stone? He's in disguise. He just keeps going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Surprised that nearby society's chapters do not use this as a recruiting world. Fair point, Cadis. To merely survive here as a feat is taxing as the most grueling of Ravengard trials. For none to capitalize on this hardy planet's offspring is foolish. I reckon it's the Astromental Arms way of proving that they too can provide incredibly effective soldiers. Just keep firing. I just access. can't. Their mere muscular presence bolsters morale amongst troopers. Yes. Makes other regiments strive to be as prestigious and makes the entire Astromental Arm look good by association. <sighs> So, politics are to blame, then. The commander of the Imperial Army is in charge. The Wall of Guns requires this planet, and it's elite. <laughs> is, it, is it canon that Korax just doesn't like the Imperial Guard? <laughs> the Wall of Guns. Honestly, I can relate. I played against my friend who played Guard, and it was tedious. I died so fast. Oh my gosh. Troops to prove a point. How repulsively bureaucratic. Well, this green murderous marble is a cherished part of imperial history, my friends. The telling of its tales is greatly appreciated by the denizens of the Imperium, inspiring them to greater feats of loyalty. Yes. If its reputation is of such political leverage, how come these regiments aren't provided more effective war gear? Last I checked, bare pectorals are no substitute for flak armor. Ye I mean, wouldn't that be cool, though, if the humans here had developed such tough skin that it was, like, as hard as flak armor? That would be kind of sick. <laughs> but pretty much, uh, unrealistic. Unrealistic chat. Is that not a good sign? The Katakan jungle friends can get their assignment oh, done while we're their friends. Knife, last gun, big pair of boots, jungle pants, bandana, and optionally a top. The top is op optional. Appearance-wise, very, uh... What's a better word for marketable? Tactically <laughs> inept. The one piece of wood marketable. they effectively are their knives. I'm hardly sure how they even acquire them. Presumably, the local fort world deals them their knives in exchange for the steel alloy hmm. unique to this planet. I refuse to believe for a single second that the machine cult would ever willingly waste whatever minuscule amounts of minerals that can be mined off of this world on making knives for regiments that refuse to wear even the most basic of armors. Aesthetically, the Kalachins make up for their lack of war gear. Aesthetics are as important, if not more so, than effectiveness in combat, as the Emperor himself has obviously... Obviously... <laughs> obviously... <laughs> decreed. Aesthetics is I important, disagree. chat. You gotta have a good fit. I'm arguing against the latter part of that point. Say, brother, I'm surprised you as a raven god would not make a point of this, but easing to wear minimal amounts of armor a good thing when considering their speciality is asymmetrical warfare in wild grown gardens of heat and humidity. I know the necessity yeah, of utilitarian tactics, Vulcan, but not to the point that justifies semi nudity. That is what I am criticizing. On death worlds where venomous animals, poisonous flora, and acid rains rule, covering your skin is surprising. Yes, I would agree with that 100%. In friendly brother Ferris do something similar. You know, brandishing the sheer might of humanity by showing off his flashing muscles all the time. That is because his <laughs> muscles were permanently covered in living metal. Besides, that that does help out a lot. Your hands got to decide. Every single soul on this forsaken planet would carry cybernetics the likes of which would make Colonel Strachan look like an unsoiled newborn. Flesh is weak. <laughs> you are weak, Corvus. <laughs> Considering the life on the planet of uh, Katakan uh, includes bugs bigger than train, wait, trains, plants that make zombies. And face eaters that look like plant leaves, and of course, soul eater ants. Of course, how could we forget about the the soul eater ants? How could we forget about those? How could we? I mean, uh, naturally, we would assume they would be there, like regular ants. They're just like regular ants, so they just have to be on. You know, H how could I have forgotten? Weak. Weak. He just smacked the ghost. Oh. In that case, what if the Kalachin jungle fighters were to envelop themselves in this living metal as well? Their oh. quote-unquote armor would be heat resistant. Oh, that would be insane if they were able to do that. Their, um, aesthetics. Alas, interjections are abundant. Living metal is often only found through that of heretical Zeno's concert, and is for my principally rare. Besides, Man, that would be insane if they did that. To see that the normal musculature of Kalachin folk is sufficient enough to send up any pack of hostiles flying. Well, 
with the departure of Demon S. But that is, to be fair, a given considering. Friends! Look at this sword! Ah. Uh, Falcon. Uh, I'm sorry, is that. Look at this sword! It. I. Mmm. Mmm. Um. That. That doesn't. I don't like that, chat. I, I don't like this. It It is pink and blue, but like a fleshy pink. It's got six eyes. I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't trust it. It's got fangs. It's got fangs and th three eyes. This is like, and it has antenna. This looks more like something that's going to morph into something else, like, and cause way more trouble than it's worth. I can see the chat moving, but I'm intentionally not reading it just in case there are spoilers. Uh, I can see it moving a lot, so it, I'm worried. I'm, I'm worried, chat. He's, um, he's a special guy? Falcon, we are in the middle of a discussion. Greetings, amphibian friend. He's a, okay, he's actually kind of big, though. Like, look at him next to Vulcan. Like, you can only see, like, half of him, I think. And he's, like, the size of his, like... The top part of his face. Um, that is not comforting. Skull and heraldry of your interplanetary causes. We shall be friends for a lifetime, smoke broker. Hmm. Corvus Corax, sir. I have news. Report. His knife. Word has been Corax, sir. I have <laughs> Look at how big his knife is. <laughs> Look at how big the knife is, chat. That's like, it's starting to become like a great sword at this rate. I think it needs to be a little bit longer for it to be a great sword, but oh, it's getting close. Have news. Report. Word has been spread. Regiments across all nearby sectors are already banging on the Munitorium's doors to get transferred back home to serve under your command. Excuse me, sir. Gunnery Sergeant Harker, check your zone. Barking Toad, 12 o'clock by the Jolly Barking Giant. Toad. Barking. Emperor's tap dancing thyroid gland. <laughs> Everyone, danger! Retreat immediately! What does it do? The most poisonous creature in the galaxy. Oh, It'll that's bad. A cloud of toxins that can kill anything if it's feeling threatened. So it farts. It 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 it, it releases a fart like a skunk. Even for the seal power armor don't help. Oh. Are you serious? It's a lesser one, so situation's under control. Everyone step out of its immediate vicinity. All right, I do not want to leave you. Oh, uh, so is it similar to a virus bomb? <laughs> where, where it can cause you problems even, even with all of your armor on? Because, uh, hmm. Ooh. Okay, step away from the frog. What do you I would like to pet this creature. No, don't do that. Please don't do that. Please. Please. I know it doesn't matter if Vulcan dies because he's Vulcan and Vulcan lives. Stomp, stomp. But like... Oh no. This isn't good. Don't do that. It would be but a single poop on its noggin. A poop? I want to poop the snooze. Stop wanting. Boop. Boop. Stop. Must. Vulcan. But boop. No booping. Boop. <gasps> he's booping with his fist. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay, the, the the eagle screech in there or the hawk, I actually think it's a hawk noise. Um that that that's gold. That is gold. <laughs> That was not a boop, you like punched him. I knew it was happening, but it scared me. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! You are dumb, Vulcan! <laughs> dumb! No, chat. He's not dumb. He's pretty. He's pretty, chat. He's so pretty. Sus, we gotta get moving. Rare as they are, them Barker toads move in close proximity to one another this time. Oh, yeah, that's wanna bad. One of them greater toads that hop around. Wait, 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 wait. Why is there one on my head? 
no emperor damn wonder I say what You're attracted to the smell of ammonia you should have really gone and taken a shower sir them greater toads have Is he talking about his piss? It has to be right. The the emote. Oh, <laughs> the fact that everyone could smell Corax but politely did not say anything. Uh that's a uh, that's pretty bad. Have their toxins travel a kilometer in seconds when detonating. We're all dead, man. No. How? Oh, why? How could they let this happen? <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It looks like a sludge. Blood still suckles on my ammonia and scalp. You. But, but Primark, we cannot leave you to this fate. We could never do such a thing. Kavon, cut us. Do as I say. Your fate is that of the Raven. Yes. This toad, however, is mine. My penance for crimes committed. <laughs> it is a just fate, and I accept it. I was not meant to return. The galaxy needs you. Aw, oh, big sad. Oh, okay, yes, buddy. But there's an issue. I, I think he, um... I think he might have a little bit of imposter... Well, no, is it imposter syndrome? I would... No, I was gonna say it was imposter syndrome, but, like, it's not that, like, he doesn't feel like he belongs. He's just, he's like, I'm not good enough. I, I, I can't do it. It's, he's just a sad, sad boy. Sad boy. Survivor's guilt? Oh. No, that's a really good point. Survivor's guilt. Hmm. That toad slowly sliding off your greasy, unwashed bush of a hairdo. Before we can get out of Dodge, that toad's gonna be falling down like a warhead, killing us all! And you talking ain't making things better! You shall not die! No! I shall not share this punishment with No, it's else. mine! You cannot be- Farewell! You must yet make your way to Terra without me. Do not allow Magnus the Red to threaten Soul with his malignant presence. Hope okay. Hope you well whenever he wakes up from his, uh, self-imposed death nap. Oh, you're out of fuel. Oh, I feel like it would just fall off his head and then kill everyone below him. grace. I meet my fate to feel sorrow and hate. Nevermore. Nevermore. <laughs> just terrified. It's like. Yes! Get him, Sly! Get him! <laughs> yes! Yes, chat! Yes, chat! This is the best! Why am I alive? Great question. <laughs> Yo, say it. Ah. 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 Now that is a knife, chat. That, that there, chat, is a knife. <laughs> I think my voice cut out when I was, like, happily cheering for Sly. <laughs> I see, I see why we like this episode, chat. Ah! <laughs> nope, he's gone. Oh, <laughs> He wants to hug him. But I reckon that's the makings of the Emperor's work. That's work. Actually, I was saved. Yes. A jungle fighter like you came flying, literally flying, from the jungle below, delivering my head from the grasp of that nuclear amphibian. Well, I'll be dang. Sly Marbo. must have been Sly Marbo. Yeah. Who is this enigmatic figure? Enigmatic. Even here on his home planet. He's a bog standard jungle fighter, only a private in fact. But he's so good at what he does, he's been awarded the Star of Terror more times than <laughs> anyone in the galaxy, as far as I know. The Star of Terror is the highest military oh, honor wow. achieved in their lifetime. And you're saying he has achieved a star 
more than once. Private Marbo may be half crazy and have eyes as pretty as a corpse's, but the boys <gasps> that, that is one way to describe someone's eyes. Bleeding saint, but without the whole wings and dove shit. I once heard Marbo was a missing promo. <laughs> I can attest on that not being true. But I nevertheless owe this man my life. Pardon me, but I must ask, how did he manage to, well, fly? He, oh, he just can't does. Fly or anything, but his aerodynamic musculature and knowledge of Kadakan jungle tree buoyancy oh. can help him simulate flight. The crazy bastard. What a weird oh. angle. Mm, perfect. He's truly mm. proven himself this time around. As he's technically part of my Kadakan second. I sure do hope he joins us on this oh, Terran Crusade. Oh, that would be so I good. I demand no less. If he represents your great Yes, warriors, yes, yes. I can see huge potential in you all by association. Yes, chat. If uh, if you want to be like Sly, Sly Marbo, uh, work out your quads, work out your legs, so you can uh, you can jump so high you're basically flying at this point. <laughs> Just like you do the Militarum at large, I realize. I am grateful to have troops such as yours. Join us in our crusade. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yes. He's back. Vulcan live. Stomp, stomp. Officially joined us on our journey. Holy shit! Oh, yes. ah! Only drill instructor Barnes could see me now. 